Welcome to your first unit called American Geography from Sea to Shining Sea. We are going to be trying a flipped classroom this year, which means that when you go home, you're going to watch videos of either myself, Mr. Garen, or Mr. Wagner giving you the uh, lecture that we used to give in class, but now we give to you at home. So this should be pretty interesting. Now we're going to look at American geography and we need to understand geography because uh, most of our history and the study of history depends upon geography. Geography influences just about everything that happens here in this country and in the world. And you're going to hear me say that probably 100 times through this unit. So take out your student packet and turn to the proper page for your first notes page and let's start looking at American geography. Okay, our first page of notes here. I'm going to read through it and then I'll give you some time to write in the notes. And that pops up all the time. Okay, and um, I'm probably going to go back and explain some of these ideas. So just follow along try to listen, pay attention to uh, what I'm saying or what Mr. Wagner is saying and then you'll know exactly what's going on in class. Also we're going to take a video quiz after this and to take that you will log into Moodle and I've explained that to you in class and I'll explain it to you again if necessary. So our first uh, slide of notes here says Geography of the Americas. Understanding geography is important to our understanding of the past and present. Geography is linked to history. Whenever you see a word that's underlined, that's probably a blank in your packet. And more importantly, that is a main idea that we're going to see again and again through this class. Uh, next, to understand history, you must understand geography. All of human history has taken place in and is influenced by the environment we live in. And then this last note is very important. The environment, don't show this message again, there we go. The environment that a person lives in affects the, the development of their culture. I'll read that again. The environment a person lives in affects the development of their culture. So that means that if somebody lives here in upstate New York, they know that, well, in the wintertime it usually snows, except for last year. But normally it snows. So in their closet they probably have um, winter clothing, long sleeves. That's part of their culture, to wear a certain kind of clothing. Now if somebody that lives in Hawaii or in Nevada, they probably don't see much snow. So they most likely don't have heavy-duty winter clothing. Um, and we're going to get more into that throughout this, this uh, unit. Now next there's a question. And this question is, it's kind of tricky, but when you hear the answer, you'll know it's not so tricky. So what do all three events have in common? Take a look at these pictures. Um, Columbus landing in the New World in 1492. General George Washington at Valley Forge in 1777, and the Erie Canal in New York in the 1800s. What do you think all three of these events have in common now knowing these major four points up here at the top? Well, let's see. Okay, the answer is that all three of these events took place in the environment. If you have any questions about that, we'll discuss this tomorrow during class. All right, on to the next slide. Geography. Here's your definition of geography. And in your packets, you should have the word geography with multiple lines. So start copying down the, de the definition of geography. Geography is the study of the physical, biological, and cultural features of the Earth's surface. Geography is the study of the physical, biological, and cultural features of the Earth's surface. Now, physical is actual um, things like mountains, rivers, valleys, deserts, th 
things that you can see on the Earth's surface, see them and touch them. Biological means anything that's living on the Earth's surface. So people, plants, animals, anything that's alive living on the Earth. And cultural features, those are things that are made by man for man's culture, the way that people live their lives. So the Great Wall of China is a good example of a cultural feature on the Earth's surface. You can see it, and it was built by people. Um, the, the Empire State Building is a cultural feature. People in New York City and in other places, they want to make money. So they build high buildings, and they rent out places inside the buildings. Or they have banks inside of them while they sell things out. That's a cultural feature. Um, our school is also a cultural feature. In the United States, we believe that education is important, so we build schools. Okay, next bullet. Geography is the environment in which we live. In the environment, the definition of the environment is the surroundings in which we live. So look around you. Anything that's around you is part of your environment. Now, there are five features of geography, five main points. Those five main points are physical and geographic features, like mountains. As you can see there, mountains, rivers, they are physical or geographic features. Human, animal, and plant life. So cows there on the bottom, trees, any kind of plants. Weather, weather like clouds, rain, snow, sleet heat. Uh, climate, that's the average uh, weather over a period of time, usually 20 to 30 years. And natural resources like gold, trees, see some of those overlap. Trees are human, animal, and plant life, and they are also natural resources. Okay, let's move forward. The next definition that you have in your packet is physical features. Other names for physical features are landforms or geographical features. You'll hear Mr. Wagner and myself use all three of those words when we talk about physical features. So they are features on the Earth's surface, such as mountains, rivers, lakes, and deserts. In the United States, we have all of these physical features. We are a very large country um, geographically. And we have lakes, we have deserts, we have rivers, we have mountains. And chances are you live very, very near to a lake, at least one. Fulton County is the county of lakes. We have, I believe it's 44 different lakes. We don't have any deserts up here in upstate New York, but we have mountains. We have the Adirondack Mountains, and many of you live less than 20 miles from them. And rivers down in... Um, Montgomery County, about 10 miles away, you live near the Mohawk River. The next definition we have is natural resources. Natural resources are materials that humans take from the environment to use to survive. And we humans, we are a crafty bunch. We can look around and use many things around us, many of these natural resources to survive. So we use the soil for growing food, growing crops. We use oil in the ground, way deep in the ground, and sometimes bubbling up from the surface of the earth to power our cars and our cities. Uh, we use logs to build homes and to heat our homes. Many of you probably have a wood stove, and that's a good idea to have now that oil is so expensive and there is a lot of lumber in this area. So natural resources are materials that humans take from the environment to use to survive. Weather. Weather. The definition of weather is the condition of the Earth's atmosphere at a given time and place. So when you talk about weather, two questions that you need to ask are, what is it doing right now outside? So I guess that's one question. What is it doing right now outside? Looking out there and... It's sunny, and it's sort of breezy. It's not too windy, but there's a little wind. So is it sunny, rainy, snowy, cloudy, hot, cold, dry, or wet? Weather is what's going on right now. And in a certain place, what's going on right now in Gloversville? Well, it's, it's kind of nice out. It's sunny. 
But what's going on down in New Orleans? Well, right now there's a hurricane going through, so it's probably rainy. So weather is a given time and place. Right now and where? Um, you could use lightning as a description of weather, rain, hot, clouds, etc. All right, then next definition we have is climate, and that is the average weather of a place over a period of 20 to 30 years. Now, climate is made up of temperature and precipitation. Precipitation is anything falling out of the sky, mainly water. So rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Meatballs, if they fall out of the sky, yes, they are precipitation as well. You're going to learn about that word in science. Precipitate is to fall out of. So, um, yeah, precipitation, rain, snow, sleet, hail. Um, our climate here in the Northeast is temperate. That's a word that we use, and you can see at the bottom, or moderate. We don't have a lot of hot weather. We don't have a lot of really cold weather. We have a balanced amount of, of moisture in the air. We're not a desert. We are in the middle, moderate. Okay, at this point, you should be at a, um, a stopping point in your packet where you're going to take a video quiz. So go ahead and log in to Moodle and um, hopefully I've given you your login information. It should be your username and password that you use to log into the website or actually to log into your computer at school. So the video quiz, um, you'll find the link to that in the Moodle link on the website, on the gms7.com social studies website. Also the link is just www.gms7.com slash Moodle, M-O-O-D-L-E. Thank you very much, and you can take the next section of this lecture when you're finished with the video quiz.